Move on now with sport news. I'm joined for that in the studio by Elliot Richardson. Hi there, Elliot. Hi, Catherine. Uh, plenty of cash uh, in the world of sport, uh, particularly uh, in football. Transfer deadline day, uh, lots of wheeler dealing going on. Yeah, I've been uh, watching them all streaming through and it is incredible the amount of uh, money being spent in football at the moment. So August 31st means one thing for football fans and that's last minute transfers as Europe's top clubs rush to complete deals for new players. For the first time ever in the world's most watched league, the English Premier League, spending has gone over £1 billion in a single transfer window. It comes after a wave of foreign investment and a new multi-billion dollar TV rights deal. Mark Thompson has this report. The most expensive footballer in the world. French international Paul Pogba moved from Juventus to Manchester United after playing for his country in the European Championships this summer. He says he doesn't feel pressured by his £89 million price tag. I only think about the pitch. You know, I want to do great. I want to be one of the best. I want to win titles. I want to achieve, achieve things. And uh, that's all. That's why I came here. Pogba leads the English Premier League summer spending spree, which already tops a record total of over £1 billion. New Manchester City signing John Stones is next in line. He became the world's most expensive defender when he moved from Everton for £45 million, the only English player to make the top 10 highest transfer fees so far. Behind the money, a bumper £8.3 billion windfall from the selling of global TV rights to the league in February earlier this year. That's a 50% bump on the previous contract. The EPL is broadcast to over 200 countries with a potential worldwide TV audience of 4.7 billion people each week. Numbers that have attracted attention outside the UK. All but five clubs in the Premier League are now under the control of foreign investors. Three teams in the top two divisions have been taken over by Chinese owners this summer alone, and some of those who get foreign funding are thriving. No English-owned club has won the Premier League in 13 years, including last season's tie-controlled champions, Leicester City. And even more cash has been spent across Europe, and it seems that PSG's David Luiz is set for a sensational return to former club Chelsea. The Brazil international left the West Londoners two years ago for a world record £50 million fee for a defender. He scored 12 goals in 143 appearances for the Premier League side. Luiz is believed to be in London having a medical right now with Chelsea, having agreed a fee of £34 million with PSG. Well, Chelsea have already confirmed the signing of Fiorentina's Spanish left-back Marcos Alonso for £23 million. While London rivals Tottenham have signed Marseille's Georges Kevin Nkudu for £9 million, with Clinton and G going the other way. Elsewhere, Algeria international striker Islam Soumani in your picture has passed a medical with Leicester ahead of a proposed move from Sporting Lisbon to the English champions for a fee in the region of £30 million. While Arsenal's Jack Wilshere appears to be on his way to Bournemouth on a season-long loan. Roma, AC Milan and Crystal Palace have also been in the hunt for him. And there's been lots of action in the loan market too, with Manchester City seeing a glut of players leave the club. Out of favour goalkeeper Joe Hart has completed his season-long loan move to Italian Serie A side Torino, with City paying a percentage of his wages. Also out of the door at Man City is Samir Nasri. The French midfielder has joined Spanish side Sevilla on loan until the end of the season. Nasri leaves the Etihad after five years at the club, while City's French defender Eliakim Mangala has followed Nasri to Spain. He's joined Valencia on loan. And Wilfried Bonny is the fourth City player to make a deadline day loan exit after the Ivorian striker joined Stoke City. The 27-year-old has scored 130 goals in 278 career appearances, but is yet to feature under Pep Guardiola this season. Stoke have also brought in Porto's Dutch international defender Bruno Martins Indy on a season-long loan deal. Now to cycling and Chris Froome reignited his hopes of winning the Vuelta de España after winning stage 11 on Wednesday. On the 168.6k stage from Colunga to Peña Cabaga, 23 riders led the breakaway, which went five minutes clear at one stage. But Orica Green Edge's Esteban Chavez looked to have made the decisive attack and led with just over a kilometre remaining. 
but he was caught by Alejandro Valverde, red jersey Naira Quintana and Froome with around 600 metres to go. Well, Tinkoff's Alberto Contador was dropped by that trio and then Froome made his move. The Team Sky rider hoping to become just the third man ever to win the Tour and Vuelta in the same season fended off Colombian climber Quintana to take the stage honours. Valverde in third, ahead of fourth place Chavez. Movistar's Quintana still leads by 54 seconds from Froome, who moves seconds. And that is all we have time for for now. And I can tell you also, Catherine, that Novak Djokovic has enjoyed a walkover. He's into the third round in the US Open without even hitting a ball today. Oh, well, congratulations to him. That's the best kind of victory, isn't it? He can have a nice <laughs> cup of tea now. Thanks very much. Elliot Richardson there with our Sport Roundup. And we're going to take a short break.